All right, now we're at number 49 on our organizational value rankings. And we are talking about a player who we have as AHL depth, but after speaking with general manager Pierre Dorian earlier this summer on Locked On Senators, he told us this signing was more for Ottawa. It's Bakanji Imama coming in at number 49. This guy, personality plus, will do anything for his teammates. And he wore a letter last year with Tucson, uh, the AHL affiliate of Arizona. Ross, this is probably my favorite, uh, you know, minor league signing. And I know there is implications he could play in the NHL, so I hesitated to use that term. But for guys in this range, I love this signing of Imama. I was so disappointed that they didn't bring Scott Sabrin back. I thought, like we talked to Igor, remember before they named uh, Hetherington the captain? We said, who who's a guy that like the really rallies the boys in the locker room and you kind of look at as a leader? And without hesitation, first guy he said was Scott Sabrin. So they need a guy with AHL experience that's going to make them feel bigger out there. That's going to make them say, hey, if someone wants to mess around, we've got someone that can mess around with them. And just go on YouTube and watch some of uh, Boko's fights. He's not afraid of anyone. In his in his second NHL fight, he challenged Ryan Reeves. Like he fought up, uh, he fought Boro, which that fight was hilarious because they dropped the gloves as a goal went in. So they're celebrating a goal, and Boko and Boro are just going at it. Boko and Boro, that's a good, uh, that's a good uh, one-two combo there. But I I really think that not only is going to bring physicality, but like you mentioned, like there's been so many veteran guys that are in and out of Belleville and it's just a revolving door and they don't really get any consistency. I think he's going to be a glue guy in this locker room and I think he's going to bring a positive attitude every day. Like we we only met him for a brief second at dev camp and the three of us, me, you and Marshall are like, that guy is awesome. Like that guy, you can feel his aura uh, in the video where he uh, meets Pierre Dorian. Like you can tell he's just got a lot of good energy and he comes to work every day with a smile on his face and say what you want, but that can go a long way in when you're in the always hungry league and you're riding the bus uh, to, to Syracuse and to Springfield and all over the place. And maybe you're feeling a little bit uh, out of it. So I think a guy like Boko will really have an impact on this team. Played 50 games last year in the minor leagues, five goals, 15 assists for 20 points, 109 penalty minutes, was a plus player. Also played five games in the National League, no points, but played with Arizona. He's on a one-year, $775,000 deal in the NHL if and when or when he makes it to Ottawa. He'll be wearing number 14 for the Senators. Just an intimidating presence on the ice. Also a part of the friendship club with Thomas Shabbat and Matthew Joseph and Matthew Highmore as well. Another guy they brought in all teammates together on the St. John Sea Dogs that won the QMJHL championship back at either 2015, 16 or 17 while Shabbat was there doing his thing on the back end. So Bokanji Imama, Boko Imama comes in at number 49 on our organizational value rankings. And let us know in the comments how you'd feel if he makes the Senators out of training camp and maybe alternates in and out of the lineup with a Zach McHugh. And I think that could be an interesting thing to keep our eye on as this progresses throughout training camp. <laughs> 